Toga, you've changed. Teenagers are terrifying. The measurements from back when we were with the Hasai are no good anymore. He knows her measurements, huh? It's no time to argue. My friend is about get to get twice as work together. That's right. Wish I doubled you when you were healthy. Huge risks here, no? Keep Your track of the face is real messed up. One. This is a little creepy, no? <laughs> it's I'm like a little sure bit Dobby of a, knows a good plastic surgeon. creepy element to this. Interesting choice going to Dobby's plastic surgeon for cosmetic improvements. Yeah, I'll have the scorched face look. What's a buff big shot like you doing on the front lines with the randos? Guys who don't know their roles should Oh yeah, the politician the quirk. One of Dead Narat's patented devices, the Seven's Loud. Here we go with the support items. MLA code name, trumpet, meta ability, quirk, insight. Politician, yeah. Waves in his voice boost the morale of anyone who follows him, amping up their physical and mental abilities. That is such a great su support character on the team. He's the kind of RPG character that when you're 10, you don't appreciate on your first playthrough because you just want to use cool attacks. But then later on in the metagame, you realize he's essential. That's when it becomes all about the stat boosts. You know, one thing that I, I've talked about before, but I, I keep thinking about this and the more I think about it, the more cool it seems that I feel like the show hasn't reached its potential out yet, that it probably will in the future is like these sort of combo quirk things. I'm imagining his quirk applied to like a twice army. What's this? It's a horde of political zealots ready to kill you for being on the wrong side. Is that a one-use quirk? Is Gecko. Looks like you can't do much more than stick to walls. He's also got a knife. I don't see you as a person who can bring much value to society. Well, that's not very diplomatic. I know his winner's not voting for. Is that a ballerina quirk? Oh my god! I was not expecting that at all. I don't see you bringing much value to anyone. I know that. Better than anybody. Is this some spinner backstory? I'm a follower. I don't have a real goal. I'm always blown away by this, the self-awareness of like all of the characters. <laughs> Why suffer? Why not destroy instead? Everyone's looking for a purpose, looking for a reason to exist. If I didn't jump on the league bandwagon, I'd be a nobody. Everyone stops to listen. I'll take on as much as I can. But yet another villain? who is against the League of Villains, who sees their, their people as expendable, disposable. What was it again? 110,000 people? The bigger the target, the, dirty work to the easier, easier Shigaraki can fire. destroy them. Safe in your little tower while the masses took care of us. Right, right. Just like the Haisaikai. Now everything's falling apart because you dealt with this before. Us. We've been here before. <laughs> is this the hand at fault? It will commit no more acts of evil. Smart not touching the hand. MLA code name Redestro. Meta ability stress. Stress. I got that quirk too. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask you earlier. He's touching the hand. Shigeru. Bold of him. What burden will you take on? What world will you create? Or perhaps you're just a hollow man. More calling into question Shigaraki's goals. This is just a long period of refinement of ideals for Shigaraki. These are your mother's hands. Your grandmother. It's his whole family. It is his whole family. You will carry your family close to your flesh to ensure that those feelings never fade. Villain Christmases are just different. <laughs> just different types of presents, I guess. Class 1A gets, you know, basketballs and valuable photographs. Keychains. Shigaraki's gift. Your family's hands. A lot of darker characters in shows, like Fruits Basket, suffer from the trauma of not receiving help from their family. But although Shigaraki has his issues, no one can say his family didn't lend him a hand. Hana. My big sister. Whatever. You just won't let dad see us. Careful what you touch. Anna was the only one there for me. But she was just being a kid. I feel like there's going to be a reveal here, no? I feel like there's going to be a reveal here that it's not everything he remembers. There are question marks in the unknown. It's bringing back the memories I purged. They were born of the same emotion. Helplessness. Yeah, there you go. I guess it speaks to his power that he didn't totally disintegrate into sand. I thought it wouldn't activate without all five fingers. No, no. He's getting more powerful. That explains why he was willing to grab him. This young man is in the midst of an awakening. Feels like a bunch of them are. So fast. He's also a great athlete. He's been training against Big Boy. Big Forest Boy. He's been training Radio since Titan. Then. Yeah. And these movements. It's on some Eda level speed right now. <laughs> the text. Stress text. Come on now, don't cry. You're going to make me sad too. My grandmother and grandfather were kind. Like a very supportive family at first. I didn't need them to be kind back then. I needed. 
feels cool to have a Titan on our side. I mean, we have Eren, but this Titan seems to have a little more emotional control. What did Shigaraki need? I mean, I'm in so deep in Fruits Basket right now. All I can think is that <laughs> what he needed was not superficial kindnesses, but actual love, which is not exactly the same thing as kindness. People can use kindness as something to keep you at a distance, if that makes sense. Kindness is especially scary if, if you're aware of a problem and it's not coming out and people aren't addressing it. It's tough, but real regard takes all different kinds of forms. You know, it can take the form of brutal honesty. It can take the form of harshness and structure. I don't think kindness is necessarily a high virtue in itself. You know, it's a solid guideline for action typically, but like all traits, it exists on a spectrum. There are times when love can be exhibited through strength and that strength can appear like an unkindness at first. One of the most frustrating things for me as a teenager was everyone always telling me that the, the problems that I had or the deepest frustrations of my life were fine. You know, everything's going to be fine. I mean, often it was true and often it was great advice and often it was real wisdom that that was coming from. But other times I felt like it was other people's fear of looking directly at real things that were of concern. And also the sense that I was being given platitudes. There was sometimes a lack of concern or regard or open-mindedness about the things I would express that I was looking for. And like Shigaraki, I, I feel like I found people who were willing to like engage in a way that was meaningful, you know, to really talk honestly about things, even if the honesty was brutal. And I was just lucky that those people were good, you know, that it, they weren't people like all for one, for example, because in that kind of vulnerable state, you know, feeling frustrated with your environment and looking around for answers, you're sort of a, an easy target. And I feel like we've seen a lot of that in this show. Oh, it's, uh, damn, what are their names? The twins from Korra. Are you there? Can you hear me? Why did you just take a selfie? It's the apex of the meta ability I've been refining since childhood. Whoops. Looks like your meta ability is not that great. You're not worthy for the dodge. society. Oh, he didn't dodge it, did he? Looks like he ate the whole thing. Uh. In that instant, he ignored his survival instincts for the sake of destruction. And this is not the same unfocused Shigaraki we've seen before. The only thing I want is to destroy. What a look of peace on his face. <laughs> Playing hero again. If he doesn't like it, he should obey me. This is Fruits Basket. There is a rule at my house. No talking about heroes. <laughs> So five years old, Shigaraki. He knows what the rules are. This is not what I meant by structure. He needs to learn his place in this society or it will break him. I see who runs this household. My father was a businessman. He built an impressive house and invited his in-laws to move That's in. Normal to me. <laughs> One day we'll figure out what you're allergic to. I know, it's hard. It's worse when I'm at home. I'm allergic to daddy. Mikun said, Ten you should be all might. Because I was nice and played with them, even though no one else wanted to. Will he like me more when I have a quirk? It starts out somewhat similar to Deku. An adult's words are absolute to a child. Yeah, for sure. The house my father built masked rejection with kindness. All right. I found a secret. Kindness not always a kindness. But I'm with you. I'll be cheering you on as your biggest kids are starting a revolution in this house. Oh, not you know the corgi. What, not the corgi. I feel great right now. Like I can stand up to anything. That was the beginning. So that's why his father hates heroes. Oh, you traitor. That's not your grandmother. She abandoned her family. All right, this is where that is coming from. Why won't you step in? Someone! We need a hero in this household. Heroes hurt those who love them. And I'm hurting you to protect you from the hurt. This is the crossover we need. Shigaraki needs to meet Toru. Dad really doing that tried and true and always productive parenting strategy of taking out your own frustrations on your children. Speaking of helplessness, one of the best ways to imbue that in others is to punish them for things they have no control over, namely your emotions, your failings, etc. Shigaraki is wrapped up in this world of heroes and saviors and all might, but even in the circle of people he trusts the most, nobody can stand up to his father, a normal businessman. What kind of hope can you project out into the world if your home life is a hell? This was the house my father built. It's mediocre. Just like the physical house. But your mom has to go fight a really bad man right now. I'll be thinking of you, though, the whole time. <sighs> I'd never forgive myself if this bad man did something mean to you. That's why. She was crying at the end of the letter. I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother to you. Honestly, I am. You might end up hating me. Hurt people hurt people, I guess. I hope your life is full of laughter and that you'll be happy. Always smiling. Womp womp. I went too far. How are they? We're through with your rules. Don't there you, you go. Raise your hand to him. There you go. Stand up to him. But Shigura needs to see this. Shigaraki needs to see this. At least some remorse. Oh, the Corgi, it's no. Run, Corgi. Everyone. Everyone. My whole family. 
Oh no. Oh no. No. Irredeemable. What just Oh my god. Tenko? I was looking for you. Oh no, don't come no, don't look. Oh god, it's heart wrenching. Oh. No, no, don't touch her. Don't, don't, no. I don't want these memories to be real. Help me! When mom crumbled, I thought a villain was after us. <sighs> this is unbelievably graphic. Why did they make excuses for my father? Why did they tell me not all... to cry instead of helping? Just a little bit too late. Oh, and she reached for his hand. Oh my god. I hope your life is full of laughter and that you'll be happy. <laughs> Ugh, it's horrific. I can't. When I touched my father, this was not an accident. Die! Yeah. At that point. Somewhere in my heart. This there goes Dad's house. I always wanted. And just like that, I didn't itch anymore. Shigaraki Origins. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy... That was one of the most horrific things I've ever seen. And simultaneously one of the best trolls I've ever experienced in media. Five seasons. Five seasons of overall pleasantness and general lack of gore. It took, what, four seasons for one hero to die? And then the Corgi. And then the Corgi. The Corgi and his whole family. <laughs> oh... I was holding out hope that it was fake, that he actually hadn't done that, and that All for One had set him up in his memory somehow, or that he had done something bad, but then it was like spun to be worse. Nope, he did that. I mean, most of it was accidental, which I can't explain why this is, but that makes it way more heartbreaking. If he had set out to do that intentionally, it would have been like, all right, well, he's just a really dark, hateful person, but he wasn't at that point, except for his father. It just gives so much more meaning to Shigaraki. Also, for reasons I can't quite elaborate on fully, it makes so much more sense why he has this issue, both in terms of attachment and in terms of rejection with male figures. He had a terrible father figure, obviously. Understatement. Like, his father's last act of love was hitting him with a pool stick. This might not be intentional at all, but just me putting my own spin on it, I feel like guys who have conflict with their fathers, it creates something weird because simultaneously you're afraid of authority and therefore weirdly can't operate in the world in certain arenas with strength because your strategy when you come up against strong figures is not to stand tall but to shrink and sort of navigate it secretly or silently or sneakily even because as a boy you know constantly losing to the threat of like a fully grown man just engraves that lesson in you that you can't stand up tall and you, know, you can't stand up strong but simultaneously you crave it you know you crave that approval because that's a missing piece you know it's a missing thing you didn't get that you were wired to crave from the beginning so it's a really really weird duality to exist in and so in that way i can sort of explain his disgust for a lot of society even but especially symbolized by people like all might but then why he would get sucked so deeply into all for one who enters with sort of softness and kindness at first and gives him sort of that that purpose that sense of belonging the sense that he's not a freak that he's not a disappointment you know also explains the crazy chip on his shoulder he's had for so long like the hatred that gets evoked when he's questioned when he's challenged when there are other people gunning for his place all of that is a slap right in his deepest wounds of not being good enough for his father and that's just that aspect of it then there's also the horrible guilt and shame that i don't really know if that's something you can navigate at that level that is a lot to come back from it's going to require the joint efforts of deku and toru shigaraki making the the damage akito has done seem somewhat superficial in comparison great parenting strikes again this episode was quite the sucker punch all this time like i've been reading comments about how what well, they didn't adapt this part of the manga because it would have been too too brutal too grotesque for tv what was this then <laughs> did this episode even air like did children watch this episode this is one of the most horrific things i've ever seen you know this whole time i was expecting radio titan to show up and destroy everything but do we even need him I, is he gonna just show up and see what shigaraki has done and give him his respect it seems like we've handled it we've handled the matter shigaraki is just gonna out crazy you and as a result outpower you <laughs>